in this tutorial we will create this object and this object let's start with this object now in this object at first we will create this plate of 75 by 52 and 9 thickness click on rectangle select the plane then we will create rectangle from center click on center rectangle give the center point take your cursor away and click there press escape then press D for dimension give the dimension for this line give the length of 75 enter click on this line take your cursor away click there give the length of 52 enter then click on stop sketch then extrude this sketch click on extrude select this sketch then give the thickness of 9 enter now we will create this portion on this surface now in this portion there are two circles one is of 15 radius that is 30 diameter and other is 15 plus 8 that is 23 radius that is 46 diameter and the height of these two circle is 40 from this horizontal line click on sketch select this surface then pan it below then press C for circle give the center point then give the diameter of 30 enter enter again press C for circle give the center point take cursor away give the diameter of 46 enter enter then give the height of 40 from this horizontal line press D for dimension from this line to center of this circle give the height of 40 enter escape then we don't need half portion for that we will create one line and trim it take the line command zoom it drag the center point click here and click here again click here and here press escape then press T for trim and remove the unwanted circles then we will need here two vertical lines for that click on line command zoom here create one vertical line from this point take it below click there take on this side take above escape then give the parameter press D for dimension from this line to this line is 9 give the distance of 9 enter then we need this line symmetric about this axis for that we will create one line to make it symmetric escape then we will convert this line into reference line select this line and click on construction then we will make it symmetric scroll down here and select symmetric constraint select this line this line and this axis now it is symmetric press escape then trim the unwanted portion press T for trim and remove this portion so that single close shape will be created press escape then click on stop sketch press shift and scroll and orbit it then we need to convert it into 3D for that click on extrude click inside this sketch then give the depth of 52 now we want it on the opposite side give minus 52 and here join operation is automatically selected so that these two object will get joined click on ok The next will be to create this rib of 8 thickness at mid portion here. For that 
we will have to create one line here click on line and select this plane and create line from this endpoint to this endpoint escape click on stop sketch then click here and select rip then select this line then give the thickness of 8 and click on ok then we want same rib on the opposite side we will mirror this rib for the click on create select mirror then here select features to mirror then select this rib feature here then mirror plane click on this select mirror plane and select this internal vertical mirror plane orbit it zoom outside and select this vertical mirror plane and click on ok here it is created then to cancel this selection click on it and click outside then to give color to it right click on it and select appearance then scroll down here select paint select metallic suppose I want to give this green metallic color drag it and release it on the object press escape then click on file here click on new design now we will create this object now in this object at first we will create the top view to create this portion so in top view we will view these two circles these two circles and the tangent line click on sketch create sketch select this horizontal plane pan it press scroll and drag the mouse create circle press C for circle now here diameter is 24 and 42 take the center point give the diameter of 24 enter enter again press C for circle give the center point give the diameter of 42 enter enter and next is this two circle of 36 and 64 again press C for circle give the center point give the diameter of 36 enter enter again C with the center point give the diameter of 64 enter enter then give the gap between these two circles press D for dimension select this point this point and give the dimension now here gap is 100 give the gap of 100 enter then escape then we need to create tangent lines for that take line command click here take your cursor ahead once tangent symbol is shown then click there same for here click here take your cursor ahead once tangent symbol is shown click there and escape now tangent is applied on this two side but it is not applied on this side to apply it on this side select this line select this circle press control while selecting multiple object then scroll down here and click on this tangent button here same for this select this line control this circle scroll down and click on tangent then next is this 12 by 4 keyway for that we will create one rectangle take the rectangle command give the first point give the second point escape then we need this rectangle symmetric about horizontal axis create one line from this center point to this center point escape then select this line and click on construction select this line control this line and this axis then scroll down and click on symmetry then give the dimension for this rectangle press D for dimension click here 
take your cursor outside now your dimension is 12 by 4 give the dimension of 12 here enter then for this line we need the length of 4 but we need that length from this intersection therefore at first we will trim it then we will give the dimension press T for trim and remove this portion zoom it and remove these lines also then press D for dimension select this line give the length of 4 enter escape zoom minus now this sketch is ready click on stop sketch orbit it now we need to convert it into 3D now this portion is 24 right this is 36 and this is 12 click on extrude click inside this shape give the height of 24 enter now this sketch is not visible to make this sketch visible click here on the arrow before the sketches and click on this bulb symbol here so that it will be visible then again click on extrude click inside this sketch give the height of 36 enter now this portion for that again extrude click inside this portion give the height of 12 enter now the work of this sketch is done you can turn it off now this portion is ready then next will be to create rib inside here of 12 thickness for that we will need to create one line here click on line select this vertical plane pan it then create one line from this from this end point to now here end point is not shown we will take that point on this line and we will place here one dimension press D for dimension click on this point click on this point click here here diameter is 42 that is radius is 21 we will have to give here 21 enter then click on stop sketch then click on create rib select this line then click here to next and click on depth now here height will be 24 that is 36 minus 12 will be 24 will give a height of 24 here we want this in reverse direction will give minus 24 here it is created and the thickness of the rib is 12 will give here 12 then click on ok here this object is properly created then to give the color right click on it click on appearance then scroll down will give this yellow metallic color drag it and release it on the object press escape that's all both objects are created thanks for watching we will stop here